Roman here from BW1.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to update your Verizon Samsung Galaxy S3 to Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. So the update officially got released today and it's a staged update so it's going to roll out to the masses sort of a, in a bit of controlled update. So you might not get the notification right away but there's one way to check it if you want to see if you can get the update um, manually. So what you want to do, swipe down here, you want to hit the little settings gear to go to settings. Scroll down here to the bottom where it says about device. You want to hit software update and you want to go ahead and hit check now. And there we are. Now we see there's a major update actually. So it's um you can see it's 407 megabytes. That's gonna be Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. That's the update we're gonna download here. Now, this first is the download part, and I suggest doing this off of Wi-Fi. If you do not have an unlimited data plan, you probably want to do this over Wi-Fi. It's gonna be a little bit faster than 4G LT, and it's gonna be um, like I said, it's not gonna count against your data if you don't have an unlimited plan. So, first thing here is pretty much deciding what to download. Do you want to hit OK? OK will stop download, defer. Will, will allow you to basically set a time when you wanted to download it and hit cancel and go back here. Reject means that you don't want to do the update at all. But of course you want to do this here. Hit OK and it's going to begin to download. You should see it right there in your notification section as the download begins. It's about 400 megabytes or so, so it's going to take a little bit of time for the download, but like I said, it's going to be faster over Wi-Fi to definitely download this, which is where we're doing right now. So let's wait for this download and then we'll go on to the next part. Okay, the download has been completed for that update. It's gonna take about 10 minutes as it tells you right here. And you pretty much put, put with the same options here, which is okay to start the update, defer, to do it at a later time. You can set it up later if you want it to run overnight or something. And then you also have reject to reject the update as well too. Now, before you do any updates, I do suggest people just in case to back up all of your stuff, your contacts, music, pictures, stuff that you may not be able to replace as easily, text messages, anything that you really, really, uh, uh, don't want to lose you definitely want to do a backup of that prior to um, doing this update this update should go smoothly but just in case anything goes wrong you definitely want to do a backup just in case so we're going to go ahead and hit ok and begin this update so what it should do it should reboot the phone and we're going to go into the upgrade screen okay now we're at what i like to call upgrade mode with this upgrade screen here you can see this little android robot with a little sort of clear spherical object rotating inside of it and then you're going to see this little progress bar go across now there's no real indication of how big the progress bar actually is but once it pretty much comes to the end point you'll, you'll kind of get an indication that it's end point it's going to reboot and then it's going to go through the next uh part of the update process Okay, now the next part of the update here is when it's gonna, you're gonna see the screen here and it's optimizing all the applications that you have installed for the new Android operating system or basically the recent update that you've done here. So it's gonna go through that process and once the apps, um, apps are optimized, It'll be all set there and we'll be able to look at Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Okay, the update is complete and we are now rocking Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. Not the latest version of Android, but a pretty good version of Android here at 4.1. We can verify that, but um, we'll verify that in a second, but I'm gonna show you one of the biggest changes that you notice here immediately. When you go to notification tray, you'll notice that the clock is up here at the top, your settings icon is up there. So you can see that this has changed a bit as well. And there's gonna be some new features within the notification section, especially if an app does support it, such as with a missed call. If you have a missed call up here, it's actually going to give you options to either call the person back or send a text message and so on. A few different um, options going to be available for you right there. Now, go here to settings. You can see here, pretty much what was similar to what we've seen before. Now, the account section's changed up a little bit. Now, you just hit add account. There's not an account to sync section, and you'll see your accounts sort of uh, line up as you go along here. Also, uh, just go ahead and validate Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. That's a happy little bean right there. And also, it's a jelly beans to flick away and such. Whee! <laughs> All right, bring that back to the home screen here. Some other things that have changed as well that are major updates. If you hold down the home button, you'll see Google here and be able to go to Google Now, which is one of the new things that you can do in Jelly Bean here. Also, they have um, updated version of pretty much Swipe within here as well too, which I'm not very good at Swipe, but um, they have updated Swipe a little bit here. They've also upgraded as voice somewhat if you do use that, but with Google Now, you're definitely gonna use this a whole lot more. And you guys are familiar with Google Now. You can go, what's the current weather? So you guys have seen that before, pretty cool to have that. And um, there's supposed to be some changes to the camera as well too. 
There's some new filters, pretty much Instagramming themselves up. I'll go ahead and hit OK there. See here, I think it's within. Not sure if it's where where it actually is within yet, but it looks like it's some, probably somewhere here within the menu. See, we can see effects of water flash. Uh, see if I can. There, it's probably in here. There we go. Some new. Looks like they have a couple of new ones here to add to it. All right, but everything else seems pretty much to be the same as before. And uh, they've also pretty much unlocked this for fully global uh, roaming as well too. So you'll be able to take this phone overseas here, yeah, overseas if you want to use it too. So that's pretty cool they've added that. And a lot of under, under the hood goodies as well too. So that is pretty much how to update your Verizon Galaxy S3 to Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. So definitely enjoy that. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here. Follow us on Twitter, become a fan of our Facebook fan page. Page. Also check us out on all the social networks. Link is in the description for that. And our main website at bw1.com. Lots of cool content available there as well too. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.